Now we go to our KMP file. So we take one from a Mario Kart Wii course, we put it in, we delete all the objects, and then we open it up by Lorenzi's. So now we go, and this is our, uh, it takes the automatic KCL that we have here, and our KCL right now is called KCL.KCL. We want this to be called course.KCL, otherwise it won't recognize it, and it gives us a default um, thing. So we go course.KMP, and now it knows what it's looking at, and it's colored differently. We want a start line. This is our starting position, and we can edit the rotation here by changing this to be maybe 90 degrees, or maybe uh, 50 degrees, and then we can draw, uh, alt-click, and alt-click and drag to draw our enemy paths around here. And this is just a Lorenzi's bug, and then we can do the same thing for item positions, alt-click, and then alt-click and drag to create our uh, item reds. Okay, and then our checkpoints, uh, we'll do those in uh, KMP Cloud. Our respawn points, we'll do that by Scalene's auto respawns. For our objects, we can add maybe some item boxes, so alt-click, and then our ID is 101. This I, uh, and you can find out this information via the uh, KMP P object query. Um, and then you just search item box and you get, this is ID 101. So we now have, uh, we, now, we now have item boxes, routes you can edit, uh, and you can add, add new routes and link objects with routes. And then cannon points, you need a cannon trigger in your KCL for that. Otherwise, it's the same alt click and just place it where you want to. X to delete an uh, object and you can change around the lap count to maybe two and change the pole position, which is where the driver starts. So now we need to go and create our checkpoints, our respawn points um, in KMP Cloud. So let's do that. So we save our file and then we go here, right click, open with uh, Discord and um, open up with KMP Cloud and we want view background import obj we want to browse and find our quick tutorial and our obj of our kcl and these both have different colors so that's good we can import that and view it back here so we can view our start position and that looks normal we can edit rotations and see what that looks like here enemy routes um it looks like we forgot to delete our previous uh, enemy routes we can just delete those yes and same thing with item routes we had previous um, item routes and then for our checkpoints what we can do is we can go here delete the um, default checkpoints and we can alt click and uh, or we need to right click add a group and then we can start alt clicking and dragging to draw along these checkpoints and you want these to be as parallel to the road as possible to avoid position bugs doesn't really matter, you need the first one to be the zero, 00 is the lap counter, and then you need at least one other key checkpoint. And these need to be spaced out somewhat. So now you can look here and you see these are our key checkpoints. So uh, we also have our item boxes here, um, which is which is good. So now we're gonna go into Scalene's auto respawns now that we've done our checkpoints. Um, so we're going to save, and then we're going to take, uh, copy our course.kmp, we're going to go to our uh, documents and I have uh, Mario Kart Wii programs and we have Scalene's auto respawn. You paste it in here, you execute, and this automatically links the respawns to the correct checkpoints and you wanna also take out this text file so it doesn't uh, corrupt, you know, overwrite your next KMP file that you put in here. So now we go back to our quick tutorial and that is our KMP done.